few things. I mean, this was dried in the tumble dryer and then just sort of folded up, put back into the laundry basket so, you know, I could bring it upstairs. But then, of course, when I'm up here, I roll everything. I'm just going to take whatever's from the top and just work down. I'm going to stay at my hair. I am so tired at the moment. I also feel like I've got a little bit of a cold, but it, it nothing, you know, it's not coming to anything. But I'm wondering if that's a side effect from my COVID vaccination. It could be, couldn't it? Um, although, when did I have that? I had that last... Oh, gosh, when did I have it? Did I have it on Friday? No, I can't remember now. One day seems much like the rest, doesn't it? And I kind of expected that I might have some side effects quite quickly was it monday no oh i don't know now um anyway i thought if i'm gonna get any side effects it would be quite quickly so i don't know whether this is just literally you know coincidence i don't feel ill or anything i have had a headache today but that's gone so it could just be pure coincidence and of course you know i'm saying oh maybe it's my vaccine but um whether it is or whether it isn't, if it is, then it's not too bad, you know. I was kind of thinking, if I'm going to get any side effects, is it going to get, are they going to be really bad? But so far, touch wood, everything's good. I'm running out of room in the drawers, even though I've done a, a big declutter. I think what I've done is I've condensed more clothes into smaller spaces just to like free up a bit of room um that's got to be hung up so yeah i'm just thought i'd do that my back well today it's not so bad today i must admit but um you know not really any signs of improving at all but i think that's the nature of the beast isn't it really when it comes to backs you know, you can't, not an awful lot you can do about it. Oh, oh, I'm tired. Didn't have a great night last night. The trouble is with me, I don't sleep well, as a lot of you know, as I know a lot of you don't, you know, we suffer from insomnia and what have you. Um, or it's pain that keeps us awake, you know, whether it's, you know, back pain, um, I call it unnecessary legs, I know that's not the right term, what is it? It's restless legs, I say unnecessary legs, because why are they doing it? It's not necessary to do it, is it, at night? Um, you know, whatever your reason is for not being able to sleep, every now and then I try to come upstairs, or I do come upstairs, I should say, and have like a little afternoon nap. That doesn't always bode well for sleep again, of course, you know, that night. Although it doesn't really make any difference, I still don't sleep. Do you know, I can't remember what I was saying now. What was I saying? Oh yes, yeah, so let's talk about the mattresses then, shall we? Because I said in my last weekly vlog that, you know, our mattress is old now. It's about 11 years old now, I think. We paid a lot of money for it. It is a good, or it was a really good mattress. But I think it's seen better days now. And I was wondering about getting like a memory foam mattress. Um, but quite a few of you have actually said that you wouldn't really recommend them for like back pain. And plus the fact that they make you really hot. Well, that would be a big problem for me because I, you know, with age and menopause and all the rest of it my goodness me i don't i don't need any extra heat at all so that would be a bit of a problem for me so i'm thinking now maybe we should just look at getting a really good orthopedic mattress but oh, i mean i know they are meant to be for backs aren't they orthopedic mattresses i don't know i hope they're just not too firm i don't really like a firm mattress but I don't like a soft one either oh that's crisp stuff there. Another t-shirt of his to put away. Isn't it funny when if Chris brings the washing up he'll like put his clothes away and then he'll leave mine 
<laughs> and I say, oh, did you put mine away then? And he's like, yeah, but I would thought I might put it in the wrong place. I'm like, Chris, just open the drawers. You can see where they go. Yeah, but I know what you like. You want them done in a certain way. Well, that's maybe true, but, you know. <laughs> it does make me laugh. I just think, oh, I'm going to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know how you wanted your clothes put away, so I left them for you. Never mind, eh? Hey, let's not, let's not bicker over putting the clothes away. At least it gives me something to do. I'm so bored. I'll tell you what, this morning I was outside quite early, went into the garden. I thought, I'm just going to do a little bit of weeding. So I went over to the little, just a little plant pot that is like a little fairy garden. I started to weed that. But I couldn't move anything. I've got a couple of weeds up. I couldn't move any of the little fairy furniture or anything like that. It was absolutely solidly frozen. The earth in the pots was completely frozen. Completely. So. Yeah, that didn't bode well. I did pick up a few more weeds, but I couldn't really do an awful lot. I think it was far too early in the day, and the ground hadn't had time to like thaw out a bit. So, um, yeah, that didn't really work too well. So I just can't wait for slightly warmer weather to come so I can get out into the garden. I have today actually ordered some seeds for the garden to need to get some more compost and I think we're going to repot all of the pots in the garden this year put some nice new soil in them and everything um this is socks right I think that's it I've just got a couple of bits to hang up now and that's everything put away Yeah, so I can't wait to do that. Um, I'm also thinking what I might do is um, grow some lettuce this year. I grew tomatoes last year and we had apples, we had raspberries. Um, is that it? Apples, raspberries, oh, sh strawberries as well. Strawberries did brilliantly last year. Um, so I'm definitely going to regrow those, but I'm thinking I might maybe do some lettuce, uh, maybe some runner beans, that sort of thing this year. Uh, yeah, because we're going to, um, we've got like a fence at the bottom of the garden that kind of cuts off where the big tree is. It's in front of the big tree, and then we've got bamboo behind. Well, that's like on a little bit of a mound there. Um, and it's quite earthy really and um, we just blocked that off because one of our other little dogs that we had before oh, bless her um, R.I.P. she's not with us anymore so R.I.P. Matilda she used to climb the tree she's only little but she used to climb that tree and then she'd look out over the six foot tall fence behind the tree and I used to think she's only got to climb a little bit higher and she'd go over. So we like fenced in front of it. Well, we don't need to do that now. Um, I don't think Elsie would do it. Teddy certainly wouldn't do it. But I'm thinking of moving some bits around. And although it's still on the mound, because I said to Chris, shall we to, um, seed it, grass seed it? But then we've got to cut it which is the only bit of grass that would be in the garden, a little tiny bit like that, it hardly seems worth it. But then again, I suppose, because it's not much, I could just shear it, or just get a strimmer for it. Ah, so I might, do you know what, I might just do that, I might just seed it. I might seed it and strim it, yeah. And then just sort of take that fence, let it grow up a bit, and then let the take the fence away. I know the dogs will go up there and everything, but I can just spread things around a little bit more, and it won't make the garden look quite so closed off. Open it out a little bit. Yeah, so I might do that. 
Um, I thought I'd just go through this drawer here, which is the second drawer down in this unit, which is where I keep a lot of like bits and bobs in. Um, all to do with hair and stuff like that. I'm gradually moving stuff from here into the dressing room, which would free up this drawer. Um, I'll show you what's in here. I think my camera's going to die any minute. So this is Chris's. His is in here as well, though. I've got some face wipes in here. And some more face wipes in here some tissues, a couple of hair thingies, um, like there's the styling wand there, and um, what do I call this? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. They're awful. My, I tell you what, my memory is absolutely shite at the moment. A uh, curling wand thing. I, I don't know what's in here, I'll look in a minute. This has got my no-no in it. Um, hairspray. Cotton pads. Tissues. Oh gosh, more cotton pads. <laughs> um, oh, that's uh, one of those face hair trimmer things that was gifted. This is my epilator, foot talc, don't know why that's in there, a great big uh, Declure Prologen gel, what's this, SPF, oh, SPF 50, oh, I'll check to see if I can use it on my face, and then in here, Magnetic lashes, replacement heads for the like the the Hollywood face system that Chris gave me for Christmas. Um, eyelash tint. Okay, I didn't realise I had that. Some more cleansing wipes. Bazooka, that Veruca, that should be in the medicine jar. Why did I even have that there? I don't know. Um, what's this? Styling gel. Percy and Reed volumising mousse. That's a complete full one as well. Oh, this, I don't think this works anymore, but this was one of those electronic things, like the electrode things, you know. Uh, you put the um, conducting gel on and it works the muscles in your face. But it might just need new batteries. I'll check that. And that's the conducting gel that went with it. That looks like it's like slush cream or something. Some more bazooka. A lid for something. Oh, one of these. I'll get rid of that. I don't use that anymore. A couple of hair dye tags I used to have before. I kept them to make sure I bought the right ones. I need to go through all of this, don't I? Clearly. Um, oh, that's uh, one of the brushes that you plug in, you know, like the hair drying brushes. A little pair of travel straighteners. And some curling tongs. And a charger for something or other so I need to check all this out go through all of this yeah I'm definitely going to do that I know what I need to check as well um, let me let me walk you in here I need to sort some things out in here I've got clothes there I need to hang up but what I was looking for these are like hair bits I've got let me go through this because I couldn't remember if I had one of those automatic um, hair curling things. Yeah, I have. I knew I did, you know, but I couldn't remember if it was cordless or not, but it's not cordless. Um, oh, the hair dryer. 
tangle tees. That's it in here. That's the one. I need to check that out. I might use that tomorrow, actually. Um, face wipes. Oh, I need to organise this. I need to combine what's in the drawer to this, really. Hairspray. Yeah, I need to do that. So I'm going to get a crack a in and sort it out. So I've cleared this drawer out. Um, left that in there. That's Chris's sort of head shaver. Just left a few bits like the cotton pads, the wet wipes, the uh, deck clear. And um, then these are like jogging bottoms of Chris's just to give him a little bit more room. Right, so I did sort of sorted all of this out. So here, in this one here, let me move those clothes out of the way. Um, in this one here, I've got everything to do with hair, whether it's facial hair, armpit hair, leg hair, or hair on my head. Um, so that's everything to do with hair, whether it's an epilator, a no-no, um, all that type of thing, or, you know, a hair dryer or a hair tool um over here in this box here i've got just things like um hairsprays serums mousses that sort of thing and then here just in this basket here i've just got um hair brushes uh, little clips scissors that sort of thing i'm there just for my hair so i've just popped those there so yeah and this basket this little um this little hat box here, that's just got like most of the facial products that I use on a daily basis. That lot, all sorted, so another little achievement. I'm actually thinking that what I might do is maybe tomorrow go through my perfumes here. So I've got some perfumes sort of here. Um, they're sort of more empty bottles that I've kept because I just like them. And I've got a few here, like these little cheapy things from Poundland, uh, like the grandchildren may have bought me, you know, that sort of thing. So cute. Um, I tend to use them all as little room sprays, but they are quite nice as a little perfume. Sometimes I do put them on, you know, uh, especially if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm at home and I want a perfume. I think I'll go through that lot there tomorrow. Oh, and I've got some here as well to go through. Every day I'm looking for a way to return To the time when everything was easy to learn Don't know when it started to get so serious Building up an illusion of a world full of trust Moving on When everything's gone be strong confusion in my mind no way to turn back time my soul in need of remedy don't even know the enemy when i feel out of touch can't seem to get enough right okay so i've come upstairs i'm gonna sort through or talk through i should say some of my um perfumes now back in the day i used to have loads loads and loads of perfumes um i mean there was a time when i worked for john lewis as well and i got 25 percent off and then if we price matched with i don't know maybe if selfridges for example had a 30 percent sale on their perfumes we would get 30% off then 25% off so it was an ideal time when I used to buy lots of perfumes or Chris used to buy lots of perfumes for me um these days it's a bit different I don't really you know I don't go anywhere well none of us are going anywhere but even before lockdown the only time I'd put perfume on an expensive perfume would be for somewhere special um for the not so special times I would just stick to the cheaper brands of perfumes okay um i've got some perfumes here that the grandkids have bought me they picked them up from poundland or even i've bought them from poundland or um i've also picked up some from lidl's because they do some really good dupes there so i'll just talk you through some of the ones that i've got i'm not going to delve into the notes and why i like them the you know the 
the types of perfumes that I'm drawn to, the ones that smell the best on me. Uh, but if you want to see a separate video about my perfumes and about um, why I choose those because of the notes in them, etc., then just comment down below and I would happily do that. Okay, so let's let's start. I'm going to start with, I need to pop my specs on to read it. Black Dust Eau de Parfum Spray, 100 mils. Okay, this is a Poundland perfume and my grandson Max bought this for me. Bless him. But it actually is quite nice. I'm just going to smell like a bit of a brothel, I think, today because I'm going to end up spraying most of them on in various parts of the body. But hey-ho. Um, yeah. That one is from Max from Poundland and it is a very, very sweet perfume. It's actually an eau de parfum as well. I mean, for quid. <laughs> and I have a feeling, where was this one from? I've got a feeling this might have been either Poundland. I don't think it was Aldi's. Or it could have been Lidl's, can't remember. So I don't think this is an actual perfume, but it's uh, an eau de toilette. That's the bottle. The lid makes it look really pretty, look. Um, let's give this a little spray. This one, to me, It's a lot more subtle, but of course the other one's an eau de parfum anyway, isn't it? Um, but this one's a little bit more of a, it's still sweet, but it's got a little touch of sportiness to it. Um, this one is virtually all gone. This was one that my son bought me. It was in a gift set. Um, this is from Next and I absolutely love it. And it's called Sparkle. Why wouldn't I love that? And I have got the tiddiest, I don't even see here tedious little amount left and it is lovely just use one little square of that so i can hang on to it for a bit longer oh, i just love it mm, it's just oh i just love that smell yeah so this is a marks and spencers one um it was there's a whole range of the rose fragrance stuff and I got like the body lotion, the soap, um, bubble bath, shower gel and this is just a little perfume and it really is, it does smell of old fashioned roses, it really does. Very feminine. Some people might consider it aging because it does smell of roses but if you like the smell of roses you like this because it really does smell of roses um it's also really good to pop on your faux flowers if you've got any faux roses spray something like this and of course it makes them smell of roses um so i'm just getting through the sort of cheaper ones first this is called full bloom this is an eau de parfum and it was just a little set that I got. So I'm getting all confused in the scents now, so I might be spraying them up there. This I, I really do like and I wear it. I do wear it quite a bit. Um, it is florally, as the name would hint at, being called Full Bloom. But it is florally, but it's got like a heaviness to it as well. This little tiny one came in. I think it came in. I think I might have actually got this from my, um, oh, Feel Unique. When I got some of my samples from Feel Unique. And it's a Michael Kors. It's a tiny little one. But... Doesn't it smell amazing? So what is this one actually called by Michael Kors? It's called Sexy Ruby. 
and it smells lovely it really does i saw it on the feel unique site when i got the samples and thought do you know what this is the right time to actually try one it's lovely it's strong it's definitely evening wear um this one oh my goodness me i've had this for a long long time this is an eau de toilette and um it's just called l and i uh, had this for some some years actually um so it might be off <laughs> yeah this is a very light fragrance very light um great for the summer nice little perfume that is this is by philosophy and it was in a little gift set and it's just amazing grace and again this is a lovely feminine little fragrance very very subtle very subtle I think anyone could wear that. It's a nice little fragrance. And now I'm going to get on to the more expensive ones. Um, okay, let me get on to this one. So this is by Penhaligons. And I absolutely love Penhaligons. If ever you go to London, you go to Covent Square. Uh, if you ever you go to Covent Gardens, please pop into Penhaligons. They are lovely in there. And I absolutely love their perfumes. So it comes, take the lid off and it's all protected on the top. And then inside it's like this. And you've got all the little individual bottles. So they're all little tiny individual bottles. One of them, the little glass lid is just come off it got must have knocked it and it got broken um but i'm gonna just get some glue and stick it back on but um yeah i absolutely love pen halligans i will open just one here oh these are decadent they really are these are sort of special ones really beautiful yeah i was chuffed a bit to receive those but i've had them a long time this is called bohemia and it's in a nice little box and this is eau de parfum you take the lid off and the box has got a nice satin squidgy lining on the inside of the lid and then the perfume comes like that isn't that beautiful? And this is an eau de parfum called Bohemia. I'll give this a little spray. Oh, look how beautiful. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if you can see the, the, uh, the lid. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm just going to spray. Oh, every time I spray this, I think, why don't I wear it more? Because it's just lovely. But I'm not going to tell you too much about them because, as I've said, if you want to know what the notes are, etc., then um, I'll do another video on that. So that's that one. Beautiful perfume. So the ones that are the most expensive, I do tend to keep in, the, in their boxes. Okay, this one is Pure Luxury. This is by Lalique. If you know anything about Lalique, you know how expensive expensive Lalique glasses and these are all tiny little Lalique glass perfume bottles in here um, okay so this is what the box looks like it's like that on the top it's like that at the bottom and then this you open and it's a little wardrobe of Lalique perfumes in Lalique glass bottles. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll take out the very first one to show you. They are stunningly beautiful. So I'll just try and hold it so that you can maybe see how beautiful. I try to turn it. 
you. The bottle is absolutely stunning. And then you've got like a little upside down butterfly on the top. And then of course you just pull out the stopper, apply your perfume, push that back in and just enjoy it, it's amazing. Amazing. I, I, you probably know this anyway, but if you don't know, never do this to your perfumes because you're just literally crushing the scent. So don't do that, leave it to dry naturally. Oh, it's so beautiful, look at it. It's so lovely. And then you've got like the little heart on the top. And I always keep these, like the more expensive ones, as I say, in their box out of direct sunlight. And then there's this one. How cute is this one? Look at that. Yeah, and that's the Lalique perfumes. Then I've got over here, this is what one of my stepdaughters bought me for Christmas as part of my present a couple of years ago now. And it looks as though it's a glass. It looks as though you've got a glass of wine in your hand. And I love it. It smells amazing. So you literally just pull that off and um, give it a little spritz. Where's the thingy? There it is. This is it's sweet, it's very sweet. It's very sweet, it's quite a warm perfume, but I think with this you can wear this day and night because I actually do. But I love that, I absolutely love it. And then I've got some um, Argent Provocateur. This I wore, well not this particular bottle. I wore Argent Provocateur on my wedding day. I absolutely adore it. To me, it's just one of those sensuous smells. It's beautiful. So, oh, I douse myself in this. I love it so much. To me, this is a real sexy, sexy perfume. Um, then I got my Cinnabar by Estee Lauder. One of my favourites. Going back years and years and years, used to wear it. Um, still wear it today i love it absolutely love it that's the bottle really nice bottle um i am gonna really stink like well you know what aren't i but it's one of those that again along with some of the others it's got the same sort of notes of things that i like so that i always keep in the box as well I mean, the Argent Provocateur, that's in a coloured bottle anyway. And then last but not least of the perfumes that I've still got is my Chanel Number no. 5, which Chris always buys me Chanel Number no. 5, and he does buy me the um, Eau de Parfum as well. And it's quite a big size, really. It's the 50 mils. Um, yeah, Chanel Number no. 5, love it, love it, love it. Don't wear it often enough. I should maybe wear it a bit more, but this is definitely one of those that I keep for best. And of course, we're not going anywhere for best, are we? Oh, but my word. Oh, I love it. just love it. I love Chanel perfumes. Absolutely love them. I also like Dior perfumes a lot as well. So these are the ones I've currently got. Um, I'll just pop these back. Um, this is a, a Guerlain one, um, but it was actually a glitter, but it was a perfumed glitter, but it was more a shimmer for your skin. I had this for my wedding day because we got married in December and um, I wanted it to look like a little bit sparkly on my hair almost like I'd been in caught in the frost you know but I don't think there's anything oh, there might be a little bit left in there I don't even know 
if they sell it anymore. No. I don't know. Oh, it smells amazing, but I don't, there's not enough in there to even get any shimmer, I don't think. But that was the effect that I had. Okay, so it's these, the ones I'm going to show you now, they're all empty, they're all dusty. They're just the bottles I've saved because I adore the bottles and I adore the perfumes. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one by Miss Dior. Um, Sherry is the name of the perfume. The bottle is absolutely stunning, it's beautiful. I have the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount left in there that I don't even know if it's going to spray it out, to be honest. Let's try Oh, got some. My word, I love this perfume so much. But I love the bottle as well, so I save the bottles if they're really nice and pretty. This bottle here is a Vivian Westwood perfume. How stunning is this bottle? I mean, there's no way I'm going to throw that away. So pretty. Needs a wash. I might keep it out, give them all a bit of a clean. But I love that so much. Again, so you've got your Alien by Mugley here. And this is a refillable one. So I could actually take this and get this refilled if I wanted to. It's the tiniest little bit, but it's not coming out. But love that one. This is just a Next perfume. But how pretty is that bottle? And I really, really like this. The next one is Vera Wang and it's Princess. It's a very simple perfume. It's quite sweet, it is quite powerful, but it can be for any age. And I, again, love the bottle, love the little crown with the little jewels in it, but it's empty. And then last but not least, um, Lola by Marc Jacobs. Absolutely loved that perfume. There is a tiny amount left in there. I don't know if I'll get it out or not. Um, but this is what the bottle looks like. How stunning is that? Look at that flower. It's dusty. I need to clean it. So I will be washing these today. Um, but look, how beautiful is that? I love them, all of these. So I'm going to go and wash these now. Um, and I'll catch you a bit later. I forgot to show you this one, guys. This is empty. And this is by... Does it say it on here? Van Cleef and Arpels. We bought this actually when we went to um, we went to Monaco, and there is a shop there. And we actually they do the most beautiful, beautiful bottles. And actually, you can use this as you can see to put your rings on as a ring holder as well. It's stunning. It's be absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to wash them all now. Right there we are. So I've washed them all now. They're there just draining and I'll polish them up in a minute you know sort of buff them up and um, so then I decided what I'd do is I'd put in my my um, reusable makeup pads put them all in soak let them all soak for a little while and my little microfiber cloth here let it all soak for a bit and then I'll come up and uh, rinse them through and put them on the radiator to dry so feel quite chuffed that I've done that today. Good morning everyone, it's Sunday morning. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. So I woke up this morning, hopped to the bathroom as you do, came back into the bedroom. Oh, bless Chris, he had popped a card and some of my favourite chocolates on my pillow. Um, I have opened the card and everything, but I'll just show you where it was left when I came back in from the bathroom, bless his heart. There you go, so that's how it was. The card obviously was in its envelope, but um, yeah, my favourite chocolates and a lovely, lovely card, which made me cry, of course. Happy tears, though. How cute is that? I feel really bad because I didn't get anything, but I said I'd share the chocolates. <laughs> I gave him a big cuddle, but I didn't get him anything because I haven't been out and... Everything that gets delivered to the house he sees, but uh, he managed to do it. Bless him, love him so much. Anyway, let's get crack a lacking with Sunday, shall we? Hi, my love. So, I've made um, an apple and sultana crumble for dessert after Sunday lunch. 
And with the peelings of the apples, I just popped them into the air fryer and made some apple peeling crisps. And they're really, really nice. I've done this many, many times before. Um, you know, I just don't like wasting, but if I've got the time, I will do this sort of thing. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you that. Uh, I've also got some beetroot cooking in here. Not for dinner, but that when it's cooked and it's cold, I'm gonna make some more pickled beetroot. I've uh, got the stuffing ready for dinner. Got roast potato well, the potatoes in here, the parsnips ready for roasting. Um, I've done too many because I like to keep some and to pop them into a freezer bag in the freezer so I can pull extras out when I need to. And again, with this one, I needed to use up the all the potatoes I had, they really needed to be used. Um, you know, I wouldn't have got any more than a couple of days out of it so. Um, with this lot here, they're all going to be mashed. We'll probably have a little bit of mash with our Sunday dinner and the rest will be put into a freezer bag and popped into the freezer. Here I've got cabbage, white cabbage, and oops, some swede. And I just need to add, I've got some frozen veg that I'll add to this sort of last minute. Um, carrots, peas, that sort of stuff. I need to use that up before my next shop comes on Wednesday. Um, so that will go in with this. And then for dinner, for our meat, we're having these. Um, so we've got the, the gammon shanks with maple black pepper and orange sauce. So I thought they might be a nice little change. So that's what we've got for dinner meat-wise today. And then when I cooked it all, I'll show it to you, show you what it looks like, especially the um, the crumble as well. So I'll catch you a bit later on today when I've finished doing the Hi dinner. Hello lovely. So I'm going to end my weekend vlog exactly the same way as I started it by hanging up and putting away washing again. It's actually never ending, is it? I said to Chris, all this... <laughs> All this making sure that you get dressed every day, you know, I don't know if you've been guilty of it, but I certainly have been guilty of it through through these four lockdowns on and off um, of sometimes not even bothering to get dressed or have a shower, get in my night clothes, have another shower at night, get in my night clothes. You know, that thing where you think, is it really worth it? And I've done that several times. Then I made this vow to myself that I would try, and I did like a 30 day challenge. I'm now on like the next 30 day challenge of trying to get up and get dressed. Um, last month for January, I failed twice. And I thought that was really good. You know, it didn't bother me at all. I just could not be asked for those two days to, to, to just get dressed. Um, so I had a lazy day, you know, but other than that, I've been getting dressed, but it's making so much for the washing. It's creating lots of washing. More than I've been having over the last, like, four lockdowns. So yeah, just get this lot all hung up and put away. So we've had our dinner today, that gammon, oh my gosh, those, gam those gammon shanks, they were, oh excuse me, they were absolutely delicious. I've added some more to my, um, to my online shop. Oh, that's got to go in the bathroom. Yes, yeah, so I've, I've stuck another packet on, which is a twin pack because I already have another twin pack, so. And, uh, you know, my son Luke's here through lockdown, so two isn't enough. So they were really lovely. And, um, yeah, the dinner today was absolutely lovely. But as usual, far too much, far too filling. But we have got loads of leftovers. So I will insert a picture of the dinner around about here for you to see. It was delicious. I left some, Chris left some, Luke left some, 
and then we've got loads of leftovers absolutely loads Cut, Leslie Ann what's wrong with you can't seem to fold my nighty today what is wrong Elsie Elsie come on what are you doing you want to get out come on go on you can do it do you want to get out go on then off you go go on Yes, yeah, so the dinner was really yummy. I said tomorrow we'll probably have bubble and squeak tomorrow. And um, I've yet to put my apple crumble into the oven. I haven't done that. It's all made up and everything, but I um, haven't put it in yet. So once that's done, I'll also insert a picture here for you. I just look like I'm ahead, don't I? Let me just move this camera a little bit let me move it maybe forward but you can get reflection of that light is that that's, it looks a little bit better isn't it well let me move this down that's annoying me it's sort of sinking away there we go that's better right so i've nearly finished putting this lot away There's always something to do, isn't there? Always something to do in the house. Um, right, I'm going to go back downstairs now and I'm going to chill out for a little bit. Um, I've got a nice glass of wine downstairs, so I'm going to just sit back, chill and enjoy the wine. And then a bit later on, pop my apple crumble into the oven. And then, as I said, I'll insert it here somewhere so that you can see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven and when it's dished up and i will catch you all in my next weekend vlog make sure that you all stay safe won't you stay indoors if you can there's nothing more important to you and your family than staying safe i'll talk to you all in my next weekend vlog or if you catch me in my next video if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you'd like to i would absolutely be delighted uh, give this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and just give that notification bell press that and then you'll know when i do all my new uploads but i'm going to leave it here then my lovelies take care and see you in the next one bye then bye